And then we'll, we'll, go, we'll proceed as we usually do. Well, we, again, as, as, uh, as always, we are encouraged to see so many faces coming out to, the, to these events. Um, in the midst of tragedy, uh, there is good that can come, come about through these, these, uh, these events. And it's one of those questions that we sometimes ask, what is God doing? And um, sometimes people look to pastors and persons of that uh, vocation to, to have answers. And quite frankly, we don't have that many answers. Uh, a lot of times we are as puzzled as many of you. Uh, the thing that carries us so often is our faith. And we ask the question, what is God doing? And I don't know what God is going to do, but I know that God is doing something. Now we're all here because we want Elena to come home. Yeah. And we all have perhaps our own ideas of how that should take place and when that should take place, but quite honestly, none of us know when that is going to be. We have hope. We continue and remain with, uh, we, we remain with hope. And we, we gather together these type of things and we, we pray, we express our hope and we express our faith by coming here. And, and participating in these. And we, this is a prayer vigil. This isn't something that we just gather together just to hold hands and, and whatever. We, we, we come here to pray, to express our hope, to express our faith that, that although we don't know what God is doing, we believe God is doing something. And I was thinking about that and I thought, we don't know the time frame in which God is going to to bring about justice. Well, the thing that we are seeing right now is God is doing something and He's doing something that maybe we wouldn't be, we wouldn't normally be doing and that is coming together as a community. We're expressing faith, we're expressing love, compassion. And I want to read a scripture this evening it says, don't be misled. No one makes a fool of God. <laughs> what a person plants, he will harvest. The person who plants selfishness, ignoring the needs of others, ignoring God, harvests a crop of weeds. How many of you have weeds in your yard? Oh, man. How do those yeah. weeds? How do those weeds get there? Mm. Come on now. <laughs> they, they they grew from seeds from other weeds. 